data availability is, for those who don't know, uh, effectively the concept that if you and a group of people in a peer-to-peer -peer protocol commit to doing something, if you can't uh, fetch the data that proved that you did something, so for example, if I signed a message and Nico and I both knew I signed that message on my computer, but then I didn't send that message to anyone else, that message doesn't exist from the global state perspective, from consensus perspective. And remember, um, in blockchains, we're always focused on global sequence states. And so if we can't reproduce something that happened, it effectively doesn't exist. And that's a really big problem because when you start to build protocols, which says everyone knows I commit to something, which I commit to some data, if we can't retrieve that, then I didn't commit to it officially. And this effectively is a big hole that runs in blockchain protocols, which attempt to do L, which attempt to create L2s or even on L1, uh, a core part of a blockchain, even Bitcoin is data availability. The data availability is baked into the protocol itself, where in Bitcoin, for example, every node intends to replicate all data of every block. In the L2 scene, whether that's on Ethereum, Cardano, or any other L1 blockchain with smart contracts, or Algorand specifically, obviously that's what we're focusing on now. When you have a, an L2 that is intending to be on top, like a rollup, we need data availability, which means that the data which is being sequenced by the L1, so that's where you get a lot of the security properties, is that the validator set of Algorand is sequencing the transactions of the rollup for us. So that means we know I paid Nico $10 and then Nico paid me $5 after. And that sequencing is what's really important about blockchain is what happened in which order is actually one of the most important parts. And then the second part of that, which is uh, Algorand's doing the sequencing for us, but then what does the data availability? And specifically, we're also leaning on Algorand to do the data availability. So not only is Algorand uh, guaranteeing that I paid Nico first and then Nico paid me, but it's also guaranteeing I paid Nico $10 and Nico paid me $5. And so we guarantee the ordering sequencing and we guarantee the data availability. So they know what happened, not just the order of Robert did something, Nico did something, but we know the full story.